Yo, what is going on, guys? I am finally back from my trip after 14 days of traveling California. I am back. Today, I wanted to make a special video recapping my trip because it was so, so amazing. I'm going to kind of fly through the first couple of days, pretty much like the first week, because I didn't find that nearly as amazing, even though it still was awesome. It wasn't as incredible as the last couple days at Yosemite. This was really the first vacation that I even took any photos because formerly I didn't really have a camera or a phone that had a good camera. So uh, finally I had a good camera to take some photos so I figured I'd share some with you. I know I've already posted some of these so if you follow me on Twitter you might have already seen these but I wanted to share with all the other people that don't have Twitter or didn't see these some of the photos I took. I'm also going to skip all the travel days that we literally didn't do anything but get to our hotel and sleep but our I think it was our second day we were staying across the bay from San Francisco. As you can see, here's a picture of the Golden Gate Bridge and whatnot. Uh, we only stayed there for a day. We never actually stayed in the city because we were only there for a day, like I said. So we stayed across the bay and took a ferry in. We were going to stay in San Fran for a little bit more than we did. We actually were only there for about an hour and a half. <laughs> and then we had to go back because we had dinner reservations back at the place we were staying. That's okay though, because I have been to San Francisco. I, in fact, I stayed there, I think for like a week or something like that uh, a couple years ago. So I have, it's an awesome city. I was able to experience that all uh, previously. So it wasn't a huge loss that we didn't get to stay in San Fran and mess around. The ferry did go between Alcatraz and the Golden Gate Bridge, which was pretty sick because I've never actually gotten to go to Alcatraz. We were going to try to do the tour, but um, it was you know sold out. So we couldn't get tickets to that. But you know, I'll take that as at least a view. And another good one of the Golden Gate Bridge from the water. Can't really tell you why I took that one of a crab. I just found it kind of funny. We then drove up to what is called the Sea Ranch. It's in Sonoma. Uh, so it was quite a big drive through the hills, windy. It was really, really nice drive, really beautiful. But uh, basically it's right on the ocean and they're very earth oriented homes, they're earth style homes uh, with, you know, wood. They're pretty much primarily wood, if not 100% wood. Got a lot of uh, environment built into them. They're really, really cool. And it's obviously right on the ocean. So we just stayed there. We stayed there for like three days, I believe. And that was really nice. You know, walked around on the coast. Uh, <laughs> I looked at a bunch of seals. It's a huge place for seals, uh, apparently. So they came right up to the beaches that we had access to. In fact, they were so camouflaged the first time that we didn't even know they were there. And then we realized we were about 50 feet away, which is not good because, you know, seals are incredibly protected and the fines are very large. There's a bunch of awesome rock formations and just beach sides. So as you can see, I actually really got into taking pictures now. Before I didn't take too many of the first couple days. Now I'm starting to kind of get into it a little bit. Hopefully my brother doesn't get mad at me for the picture that I included there. That's actually my brother, not me. But he just looks so good in that background. I just had to snap a picture of that. It looks so badass. But it was essentially just endless coastline there. So we were just walking up and down it for those entire three days. Super fun, but really cold. I was figuring, and I know I did check beforehand, like I knew it wasn't going to be that hot where we were the first week, pretty much, because it's on the coast and so it's cool and there's a lot of wind but it was freezing man like it was so cold i packed all shorts just one pair of jeans and like light jackets and it was so cold the wind was insane especially at sea ranch but nonetheless it was still amazing moving on from sea ranch this is actually why we went to california in the first place my family does family reunions every couple years and it switches off between usually somewhere in europe and then the u.s so this time it was in california which is the reason why we ended up going to california in the first place is to visit pretty much family from a lot of places around the u.s and even uh europe Funny enough, on my way to the Calistoga area, I believe is where this was, I finally had In-N-Out for the first time in my life. And, uh, you know, it was good. Don't get me wrong. I would have that like three times a week if it was here where I live. But, um, you know, I don't think the burgers actually, and I know you guys are going to probably riot if you have In-N-Outs and you think it's the greatest thing in the world. It's the greatest thing in the world because of the price. It's so, so cheap compared to some other burger chains. But... I don't, I, the burger's great, but I don't think it's as good as people think it is. I actually do think Five Guys is better. We do have those here, and I've, I think the burger at Five Guys is a lot better. It's so much more expensive, though, which is kind of a downside. 
And honestly, for all the Midwesterners, Culver's is pretty damn good because they use like really good ingredients. It is a little bit cheaper, but it's, it holds up really well, surprisingly. I'm glad I had it though because it was really good and I was kind of dreaming of the day that I was finally able to try it. I think it's a tad bit overhyped, still super good. Notice how I said good a hundred times to avoid pissing people off. But anyways, the place we are staying at was kind of a campground feel. Uh, it had smaller cabins that we stayed in and then like a central area and we went from there and did other things. Um, so these are a couple of views from a little cool overlook we had right up the hill uh, that I took. And then we took a trip to the beach, which was actually a decently long drive and uh, just walk along the beach. I found this little sucker, so I just had to take a picture. Actually a pretty decent sized crab. That's like probably, I don't know, probably about 10 inches, um, which was by far the biggest I've seen. It might not be 10 inches, maybe eight to 10, I would say. The best part of it is we, I, I didn't, because I wasn't responsible for planning any of this, because there's a ton of people, as you can see from this photo. The organizer rented this bus. It's like a super hippie, like 70s bus. And they kind of redid it so that it's got seating on both sides and that's how we uh, drove around in the super hippie the outside was like purple and had like butterflies and stuff on it it was hilarious but that's what we rode around in um that's just all my family another thing that has actually i think a lot of people couldn't make it this year which is surprising there would have been a lot more if we did a little bit more planning we did a whole bunch of activities like i said one day we went rafting which was super fun took many hours but me and my brother just plowed out ahead and then we're able to just relax and see all the cool stuff out ahead before everyone else did. But after that whole thing wrapped up, we said goodbye to our family. We all went our separate ways. A lot of us actually more or less stayed together as we continued our travels. This is where the vacation got awesome for me. This is easily my favorite part and I recommend you visiting this at least one time in your life. But we went to Yosemite for three days, I believe, three nights. Uh, I think we we're there a total of four days. But we stayed in a lodge, basically hotels. Um, and you can see the view from our window. It's overlooking the like one of the main rivers, if not the main river, that goes for miles and miles and miles. But it was literally out our balcony. We had a little balcony there. You can see the lower level. We were up on the second level. And it couldn't have been better. The water was super loud, but like I wouldn't trade that view for anything. It was we were already hyped and we weren't even inside the park. It's actually like probably 15 minutes outside the park. But we were hyped just by seeing that. And I thought the hills that I was seeing right there were, you know, awesome and that's what I could expect the rest of the trip. No, they only got better. This is when I really started to use all the features of my phone. Like panoramas, uh, you've seen lens blur already, but I was trying some more with that. And secondly, I did 360 spheres, which I don't even know if you guys are familiar with. I don't know what phones have those, if you guys know what I'm talking about. It's essentially just a mode that you can take a whole bunch of photos, and after you take all of the photos, it will combine them all into one and allow you to 360 pan wherever you would like in the area that you just took all those photos at. So you can see every single angle simultaneously, which was so cool. So I just started taking a whole bunch of those, and I don't know if I can show them to you. I'm going to try, but I have no idea how they translate. They might just translate as one flat image, so it probably won't work, but oh my god. We just basically relaxed the rest of that day because we got there kind of late and didn't really want to do anything besides the park is absolutely packed, and so we didn't want to drive in. So we hopped on the bus the next day and actually met up with some other uh, family members that were staying <laughs> inside the park, and that's kind of what I want to do in the future. Um, the park blew me away to the point where I definitely am going to return here more seriously and probably either camp uh, within one of the kind of villages or actually just camp in general. The scale is hard to, it's hard to grasp in these photos, but it, it's so massive. Like the, the hillsides, sometimes it's hard to legitimately look from the bottom to the top. There were so, so many waterfalls that were absolutely incredible. We got to see so many waterfalls from the top of the cliffs, and apparently it's kind of rare at this time to have a couple of those waterfalls even producing water or having water because a lot of times by this time it's dried up apparently, but they were flowing well for us. So we got to see so many cool angles of all these different waterfalls, and I tried to capture them as best I could, but uh, you know, it's it's hard. I, I My mom is a lot better. At photography, this is pretty, as I said, this is pretty much my first time I've ever tried. Plus, this was all just with my phone. I'm counting on my mom to have incredible photos. She has a really nice camera and was taking a ton. So I'm counting on her editing those up and hopefully maybe even getting a couple of them 
like either printed out and framed for my walls because I think that would be incredible artwork to have in the background. You guys would probably see it in future videos, but it's it was just so sick. So I tried to capture this the best I could for you guys and myself, more for myself to be honest. So this is what the thumbnail of a 360 sphere looks like. It's not like this when you actually open it it'll be wrapped around in a sphere so you can literally scroll around from all these sides so this would be bent so these two mountains that you see would be on pretty much opposite sides if that makes any sense but from the ones that i kept it's pretty much looks almost flawless in terms of things overlapping it does an incredible job of fixing all the little mistakes that the pictures originally have and putting everything back together but just wanted to show you kind of what it looks like obviously that's not really what the photo looks like when you open it but that's what it looks like as a thumbnail. I posted this one on Twitter. This is a panorama I took. This has got to be one of my favorite ones I've taken the entire trip. It just looks so clean and nice. And I don't know, I might try to get that one printed out in some way. I don't really know how I'm going to do that. But that's pretty much all my photos that are the real, real winners in my opinion. I have a ton more that are like still incredible, but like not nearly as good as these ones. So... That pretty much concluded our entire Yosemite trip and pretty much our entire vacation. We only had a couple more days, mostly traveling. This three-day trip alone made up the entire vacation for me. It was already an awesome vacation, but this, this just... Oh, it was so amazing. If you don't know, I really do like the outdoors. I love hiking. I love camping. I love all that stuff. So this, for me, was just perfect. Exactly what I would love to do. And I will definitely be coming back either by myself in the future or with friends. I don't really care. Maybe with family again. I just want to experience this park a little bit more. There's so much to Yosemite. It's absolutely massive. I think it was the third national park. I'm not sure on that. I'm totally pulling stuff out of my ass. But I think it was the third maybe. One of the very first, I should say. I also saw a statistic when we were taking one of the little shuttles that like 95% of the park is completely unseen by the normal visitor so that's that's something and they're they're pretty much encouraging more wilderness savvy people not saying i am one but um they're pretty much encouraging people to go check out all of its beauty so i definitely will have to come back at some point and i really recommend uh going there if you like that kind of stuff even if you don't um there's a lot of stuff you can drive to and it's so worth it in my opinion absolutely breathtaking but that pretty much concludes the entire trip. We only had a couple more days, and it was basically just traveling back to uh, near San Francisco, where we just flew out. So I just wanted to make this special video because I had such a good time in California. Should be returning to normal. Thank you guys so much for loving my videos. Um, it, some of those videos did so, so well. It's just awesome. I tried to give you a really big variety, and I think you guys really liked that. So thank you for watching all of my different videos but I am officially back now. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like. It really helps me out. Subscribe if you're brand new. Thanks for 33K, I believe, and I will see you guys in the next video.